tapestry has been a respected form of traditional fiber craft for centuries. But modern fiber artists have added digital tools and a scientific understanding about human vision to create fresh works. Anna Walker introduces us to a new exhibit that examines one artist's approach. Right now we're standing in Bridge 11, Leah Cook. This is an exhibition that's traveling from the Society of Contemporary Crafts in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's all work by textile artist Leah Cook. Leah Cook wove all of these pieces using a, a digital jacquard loom. Um, the jacquard loom was first, um, it revolutionized the textile production in the early 19th century. Uh, back then it used a punch card, much like a player piano would, in order to weave row by row. Since then, the digital jacquard loom that she uses today actually interfaces with computer-aided design programs for computers. Thus, she can use, um, she can scan old photographs, which is what she does, and then manipulates them in um, different software on her computer, and then she can use the loom to actually weave those pieces. Um, a lot of her work still uses the hand. Um, she does just determine which threads she's using and where they're going, so there is an element of that in it, but now, she um, has taken a tool that was once for industry and been able to utilize it for a single artist. I think with the digital technology that she's utilizing, it makes the possibilities of um, uh, more individualized. She can actually have access to a tool that was typically used only in um, a factory type situation and now she can have it in her home, much like if you think about the current um, 3D printers that are soon sort of becoming slowly more desktop possible so that we could all potentially be printing our own 3D objects at home. Just that idea of these tools that at one point were such a um, uh, technology that was you know, unattainable, now it's more accessible to the viewer. So with that, she has more control over the tool and uh, there's more creative possibilities, I suppose. Cook's works start as photos of faces, similar to those any of us might have in our homes. But the artist's treatment forces the viewer to think about the very act of looking. Two things, the fact that these pictures that would normally be small mementos have been blown up larger than life size. Some of these um, tap, uh, textiles are actually you know, five foot by three foot large. Um, definitely changes the way in which you interact with the piece. But then also, um, I think more than just what the image is, but how a viewer actually interacts and perceives the piece is really important and would be maybe more of the takeaway in that from far away, it's clearly a face and a portrait. Um, and then the closer you get to the piece, there's this one point at which you have a little bit of what um, some writers have called perceptual confusion, where your brain suddenly realizes that the face is actually made up of very, very small, almost dizzying um, mazes and of threads, um, and this woven structure becomes more prominent than the image itself. So I think maybe it's more that um, thinking about how we perceive things and where our brain sort of switches from one to the other. Bridge 11 will be on display through May 13th. For more information, visit the Center's website at www.crafthouston.org. For Artbeat, I'm Stacy Hawkins.